The Switch. It's got like thousands of games. Screw that. We want even more. We want experiences that otherwise usually wouldn't run on the console. So you know a great way of doing that? Streaming it. It essentially works like this. Well, I don't really know, actually. I don't know. Somewhere out there in the echoes of cyberspace, there's a PC booting up when you tell it to and playing the game. And then they're streaming that feed back to you to your console. The fact that it even works blows my mind. But that's the thing. It doesn't really work. There's always that one guy that says, oh, I, th I think it's really good. I want to find out what that guy's smoking. <laughs> and there's only one way to find out if there are any good cloud experiences experiences on the Nintendo Switch. And that's to play every single cloud game on the Nintendo Switch. The only saving grace here is that every single cloud game allows you to try it via a trial demo. So I don't actually have to buy any of these, thank God. All right, whatever. Let's play every single cloud game on Switch. Lord help me. So the first game I'm gonna try is Resident Evil Village. This game hasn't even released on the console as I made Make this video, but they still let you try the demo. This is what I love. It drops you right into the action immediately. I have my weapons, I'm in a dungeon, I'm shooting things. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Visually, it looks pretty great. There's no input lag on my controls at all. Do you, you, you guys hear that? Oh, that's so weird. Everything else is actually really solid, but there's at least two full seconds of lag in between the audio. Firing off a shot in this game right now is like seeing lightning out the window and waiting for the thunder. How long is it gonna take? I don't know. This is actually a shame because this has everything I'm looking for. But that audio lag, it makes it impossible to play. You know, I'm starting to think this whole cloud streaming thing ain't for me. Also, speaking of clouds, I'm outside now. I can't play my cloud games outside. I mean, I can try hotspotting to my phone, but I think we all know that's just not going to work, so why bother? However, even though I can't play cloud games anywhere I go, I can play my Switch still anywhere I go. And something that can come with me wherever I go, my Satisfy Grip. Good news, there's some new ones. The Satisfy Gaming Grip is the Nintendo Switch accessory. It literally, it is the one. You don't need anything else, you just need this. Obviously we have my yellow and blue, but there's also the standard white, you have black, and now they've introduced Pinkalicious and Diablo Red. Okay, I'm actually putting this in for the first time right now. I'm not even mic'd up. I don't know if it sounds terrible, but that actually looks sick with the white. That's a really nice red. Now I gotta try the pink. Oh, that's a really cool pink. Do you want this? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, with the white though, that's actually really cool. That's a nice contrast. I don't know how many times I've tried to tell you guys this. If you aren't already using a Satisfy Grip on your Switch, it'll change the way you play games portably. The Switch is not a comfortable system as much as I love it, but the grip makes it feel like you're just holding a really wide PlayStation 5 controller. Yeah, what am I gonna do? Come to your house and make you buy one? Look at this. Was that a cool shot? I don't know. And right now, very on theme with the fiery Diablo Red, there is a Halloween sale on satisfied.com where you can get 10% off. But I have even better news. If you use code BEAT'EMUPS, you'll get an extra 5% off and free shipping. So I mean... <laughs> I kill me, puppy. I kill me, puppy. Oh my gosh. What do you think of the Satisfy Grip? <laughs> so yes, uh, go to uh, Satisfy, links down below, and uh, get a grip to support the channel. Okay, I'm gonna like phase back into the video now, bye. Now I didn't go into this video ragging on cloud games on Switch without having experienced at least a couple before, and Plague Tale was one that I did try out previously. 
It's still bad. Also, I don't know what the deal is with these weird load screens. You'll notice this as we go forward, but each of them have this blue line load screen. So are all the cloud games on Switch ran by the same company or is this just a design choice? Either way, I'm trying to play Play Tale in 1850. I don't know. I don't really want to be seeing the net code. That throws me out of the illusion. I don't know what it is about Plague Tale. Resident Evil looks really clear and great, but Plague Tale is just like an oil painting. It's so blurry. These gameplay visuals are reminding me of the pre-rendered cutscenes from Final Fantasy IX. There's just something so uncanny valley about it. The frame rate is so low and the game is stuttering. There was a huge lag spike just then. Ugh, I don't think I'm being too mean in saying that these crushed visuals look more like a bad port than it does streaming the full experience. I don't get the point in playing it this way and just not making a dedicated version of the game on Switch. Also, I hope this isn't going to be a reoccurring theme, but there is still huge audio lag in this Two, game. Three, four. Look at the lip sync here. Does hunger always make you this accurate? That audio is so out of sync. I can't take the game seriously. And now the trial just ended in the middle of a cutscene. So I, I guess I'm done. <clears throat> they save the galaxy. Maybe they can save this video. The next one is Guardians of the Galaxy. This one's the best one so far. Visually, it looks pretty great, albeit a little bit blurry, but you'll come to expect that. The audio was completely in sync. That's something apparently I didn't know we would have to be happy about. And the Controls are super responsive. Yeah, nothing funny to say. This was a good one. I could probably play the whole game like this. It just looks like a little bit of a blurry port. Maybe there is something to this streaming games on the console, but it's weird that it's maybe only some of the games. Okay, the next game is Control. I'm pretty sure this might have been the first game streamed to the Switch. Although I could be wrong. I've done no research. I'm just talking words. It is the first one I tried, and I didn't realize they have a performance option option and an enhanced graphics option. I can't imagine risking performance when it comes to streaming the game, but heck, I'll try both. Let's try performance first. I'm sorry, I'm in a queue? You're telling me there's one person out there that I'm waiting to take a potty break so it can be my time to play? What is this, Overwatch 2? Welcome to the future of gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, finally. Better sneak on in here before they come back. This is the longest load screen I think I've ever been sat in. I thought the point of streaming these games was to have it running off a high-end PC and then giving me the... So the load screens are supposed... I don't... Wh where am I streaming this from? 1999? You think I'm making this up? I have been waiting so long that my Switch screen has gone dark twice from inactivity. This better not count towards my five minutes of gameplay time. <laughs> oh my god. We're finally in and it's pretty good actually this is this is good all right it's ticking all the boxes the audio is fine the controls are good i remember the first time i played this game i had a real problem where if i would look right the camera would keep going well after i stopped looking right but that seems to be all fixed now and visually it's very clear you could actually trick someone into thinking you were playing this on a playstation or something i all right, I was disconnected from the server. I only got to play two minutes, but what a glorious two minutes it was. Well, I've got to try the enhanced mode. I really don't want to opt into loading back into this game. Whatever. Uh, okay. It loaded much quicker this time, but visually it looks worse. It's way blurrier than before. Am I imagining that? And now the performance has taken a hit and it is laggy and it is stuttery now. I don't know why you would sacrifice performance in a cloud-based game where you're already sacrificing performance, especially when the cutscenes bleed back into the gameplay. You can literally see it getting worse in real time. Side note, the destructible environments in control are sick. This is a really good game. You should play it on like PlayStation or Xbox. Oh, I feel like I need to light an incense candle or something. I'm getting really stressed out. You thought I was kidding? This one's called Positive Vibe. The next game's called Timnesia. I hope it doesn't take a long time to load up. <clears throat> 
Oh, I'm sorry, I fell asleep during the two very long load screens. I thought the first one was bad, the second one took like three minutes. I've never played this game before, but it's very clearly a Souls-inspired game, and it's not bad, I think. Think. I can't really tell because it is the laggiest game out of all of them. And I'm not talking about input lag or audio lag this time. I mean straight up lag lag. I don't think I gotta tell anybody how frustrating it is to play a Souls-like game that relies solely on parrying and having to deal with constant lag spikes. Good luck blocking those attacks while you get stabbed in the stomach. Apparently my allotted time just ran out even though I've been playing for maybe 60 seconds, so I I guess it did count that long load screen as my gameplay trial time. Why? Hitman 3, don't let me down. It also has the performance and enhanced graphic options. So let's start with the performance again. I am getting serious whiplash here with some of these games. Bad good, bad good, bad good. I feel like I'm a broken record, but there are a few things I'm starting to look for in these games. Visuals, A+, plus. audio, in sync, control input, no lag. If you got those three things, Things, I'm pretty okay with the port. It's not until you get inside the building and get into this area with all these people and the lighting effects that you do get a little bit of bit crush, but I'm not unreasonable. I understand I'm streaming this game and it's trying to do a lot. As long as it's playing well, I don't care. Sorry, I'm in the middle of trying to cover up this double homicide I've just committed. I swear, every time I play a game like this, I, w I don't want to moiter anybody. I mean, this guy was asking for it. I was just trying to sneak into the room. Okay, well, my trial just ended as I was trying to cover up what I had done. So in a way, I got away scot-free. Now let's dive back in on Enhanced and do it again. <laughs> I can't notice any difference. Am I imagining that? Is it enhanced? It's streaming to me just the same. And I just smashed a lady in the face with a Coke can. All right, I might move on because I feel very bad about that. I guess these games are ran by the same company because again, we have that weird loading screen. Also, I didn't mention this really, but all of them have the same opening demo title screen. So it's definitely the same service, which is wild considering the different levels of quality we're getting in all of these experiences. Is. This next game is called S City of K, K. I don't even know. I thought it was playing really well. Made a character. I'm exploring a little underground castle thing. But then my game completely froze up for a long time. I don't know if it was a load screen or what, but my guy's hand was twitching like me when I have anxiety after smashing a lady in the face with a Coke can. When it finally unfroze, the quality became a lot blurrier and stutterier. So I guess the game got overloaded and then froze and was trying to figure out how to downscale all the render and then get the game working again or something. I don't know technical mumbo jumbo. All I know is it's worse now. I'm pretty sure my five minutes is up and I am stuck in another long load screen. Yeah, I just loaded back into the game and I was immediately slapped with a timeout. I'm really not getting a good sense of any of these games. I really am spending most of the time in load screens. Kingdom Hearts 3. This one I've tried before as well and I know most of the five minute demo of this one is spent in the intro and the cutscenes and all the dialogue boxes. By the time you finally get to try the game, it's over. I had to skip like 20 cutscenes, but I I I've been hurt before. So I don't want to say the word P-E-R-F-E. CT, but I mean the cutscenes and the animations may as well be running locally off the hardware. I can't tell here at all. It does not look like I'm streaming this game. I'm actually blown away by this. The input lag is unnoticeable and visually this looks like a decent port to me with a little bit of aliasing around the edges, but it's clean and clear and I have nothing bad to say. Thank God. Now this one also had an enhanced option, but because I've played this one before, it's now locked me out from playing the demo anymore. Apparently you can only play the demo twice. There's also a ton of other Kingdom Hearts games I could try, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna try the first one and the most recent one. I think that's fair. And after skipping like 30 cutscenes this time, I'm in the game and this is just bizarre because it's perfect. I gotta say it's even more bizarre because this is a PlayStation 2 game. So it could easily just have been ported locally on the 
hardware. It seems frivolous to even bother setting up the streaming service. You would almost think that would take more time and investment. It also means eventually one day when these servers go down, you won't have Kingdom Hearts 1 on the console anymore when it very easily could be there. So the fact that it's working this well actually makes me more mad than if it wasn't working because I'd rather just have the game on the console. But yeah, it was pretty great. Also, this demo was like 15 minutes for some reason. So I managed to get pretty decently into the start of the game. Okay, we're finally at the last cloud game. We've played them all. But in the great words of Adam Cole, I didn't come this far to only come this far. He probably stole it from someone else too, but it was a nice tweet. I don't even know what is happening in this game. I can't even remember what it's called, Pathfinder? There was so much dialogue at the start, but for the sake of time, I skipped it all and now I'm just here. I'm stuck in this little town square and I can't seem to get out. I'm sure I'm supposed to do something in here. I don't know what it is. I guess it's running fine. It's not the game's fault that I'm dumb. I got, I'm just walking around. I'm not really, okay, and I'm stuck. I have, I have, I have got the horse stuck. Is this is this a streaming issue or is this a game issue? Oh, and now the horse is freaking out. The horse is not having a good time. Oh, the horse is off. The horse is running out. <laughs> What? What is it with me and horse games? As soon as a horse gets into the mix, everything derails. I am... That was terrifying. From the best game to the worst game, I guess. That positive incense to breeze over here a little bit more right now because I want to stay positive. I mean, we have about a 50-50 batting average. It's interesting that the AAA games are the ones that played the best. Your Hitmans, your Kingdom Hearts, but it was the indie games that really suffered here. But at the same time, they all seem to be running out of the same place with the same load screen and title screens to start the demo. Why is it that some were really good and then some underperformed? And then you have Resident Evil Village, which you think would be one of the best ones for that, but the audio made it literally unplayable. I will say that I have the fastest Verizon internet you can get, a thousand up, a thousand down, and my bad boy is wired in. So if these games aren't gonna work for me each and every time I play, they're not gonna work for anyone. I'm really worried that when you get it with your internet on the day that you play, you too might have to sit in a waiting queue for someone else to take a big shiny dump in the toilet because they're still playing and they're in the middle of a good run and they don't want to get up. I guess if if you want to try it, just try it at your own risk. Also, be aware that if you spend $60 on one of these games, there will come a time where you won't be able to play them anymore. These services will be shut down and you could have spent that money on a physical game. I know that's a conversation for another time, but it's something that I wrestle with. It's why I didn't want to actually buy any of these and I just played the demos. There is one thing I want you to know before you stop watching this. It's really big news. I took a side the other day. I want one of you guys to get it. And all you have to do is a comment down below with You gotta be quick. Because I can only give it to like anywhere you want. It. You can spend anywhere it on the eShop. I, mean, I just want to do that to give back.